Hey, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, I'm going to do an unboxing of Space Core Ventures, an expansion for Space Core 2025 to 2300 AD, game designed by John Butterfield, produced by GMT Games. This is a newly released, long awaited expansion, adds a lot to the solo play of Space Core, which is now set up on my table as I go through the rules again. Um, I bought Space Core when it first came out on the strength of Butterfield, on the strength of the solo. Um, ability of the game. Played my first game, enjoyed every minute of playing it, and then I won. Like, it seemed like on a technicality. And in a way that kind of soured it for me. I'm just saying this up front. It kind of soured it for me. But in the end, I mean, I ended up selling it because it sold out immediately and I ended up selling it um, uh, while, the, while the opportunity was there. But regretted it later. So I ended up getting a copy back of Space Core, and um, it was brand new in shrink, and ended up losing it in a trade fiasco. Long story. Um, but then finally got a copy back again, and have determined to play it again. And I understand now that first of all, this uh, these solo rules were uh, released in advance, and the new rules for Space Core. Uh, natively and will be in the reprint include an advanced solo AI. So uh, either, you know, either I was just really good at it, did something wrong or whatever, but I totally blame myself for that. But the net result is great series, great game, and now I'm looking for this expansion, which adds a lot to the game as well as solo, uh, the solo uh, AI. So let's crack it open, take a look at what's inside. Hey, if you're enjoying these videos, be sure to give us a like and a share to subscribe and click the bell. One ringy dingy. All right, so let's get those lid off if we can. That's a small box. I don't know if this content is going to fit inside the Space Core box in addition to everything else or if it's going to be a two box game. So anyway, all right, so the first thing you start off with, most importantly, the solo rule book. Um, so this is a, this is part of GMT's newer, glossier printed material. See how it's reflecting the light, um, which they had in Atlantic Chase as well, I believe. Um, a little strange for them. I prefer the matte, uh, the matte, uh, printing that they normally do, but, uh, you probably won't have to refer to this too much. So this is a very small, the solar rule, but one thing that was great, I will say it was great about Space Core is if you're playing solo, you can put the multiplayer book away. You don't need it. You just get the solo rule book and it starts you from scratch. I hate, I hate when games will say, here's how you set up for two, three or four players. And then you go and you have to read a special little section of all these caveats for setting up for solo. So in other words, you can't just go through the solo rule I and mean, you can't go through the setup and set the game up for one player. Because a lot of times it says, well, let's set it up as a, for two players and then you know, change this. It's like, well, just tell me that during the main setup. So the good thing about this is if you're playing solo, you get the solo rule book out. You can just throw away the, well, don't throw it away, but you can get rid of the multiplayer rule book. And so that is a great feature. More companies should follow that example, or at least in one section for setup, include the variants that you're going to set up for solo versus multiplayer. They're very quick to say, well, I'll use the four-sided player board. So that's free commentary unrelated to Space Core Ventures because Space Core Ventures does it right and everybody should follow their example. So here is the solo rule book for the content in here. You'll add it to the solo rule book for the, for the base game as well. So um, in fact, it says this set of rules is used only when playing the game solo. If you have two or more players, put this booklet back in the box. You won't use it. Instead, use the multiplayer rule book. Boom, way to go. Either have two rule books or at least have one rule book that covers all player counts. <sighs> and this rule book was edited by Kay Jensen, which means it's going to be probably really good. Anyway, it's an, just an eight page little pamphlet that tells you the uh, rule changes for um, adding this content for ventures. Um, be nice if eventually they had a living rule book that, you know, like incorporated this into that game, but if not, very simple. So, solo rule book. Now you have the multiplayer rule book, which is quite, if you're playing multiplayer, it tells you 
uh, don't use this if you're playing solo. Put it back in the box, which is great. And this, for some reason, is only four pages because there's a lot of solo goodness coming in. So they need eight pages, but here for the for the multiplayer. And this is the cardstock their normal like player aid uh, content is on. So here's your rule book, your rule card for multiplayer. Good job, GMT. All right, your new, aid, your new solo player aid version two that gives the competition actions. The competition is who you're competing against in solo. And this is the updated solo player aid. Tells you what to do. Uh, GMT cardstock, double-sided. Good job. Now, the, <clears throat> the meat of the action. And the, and the weight of the box. 14, I'm gonna sit sideways here for a minute. 14 headquarter boards are added to the game. And what this has added is variable player powers. Each corporation will start out differently with different benefits, different uh, rules, different restrictions for what they can do in an era, so on and so forth. Great addition for the multiplayer game and so this is, you got, we'll look at the front side first. So these are the ones that you'll use in multiplayer. Ahead of the curve, they say two to four player. So this is all the two to four player sides. You've got, that's the company called Ahead of the Curve. Then you got a company called Space Corps. And then you've got a company called Allied Transit, which obviously starts out with a higher move rating. These do feel a little thinner maybe, but not much thinner. They're not flimsy. Polaris GCI. Discover Prime. That's the Amazon. Next generation. The Drell Institute. Now this one is only for three to four players. So those were all two to four players. These are now getting in where you only use them if you have three to four players. DP Roberts Limited. And then we've got this is another two to four player board. Inframax. So their infrastructure is already maxed out. And they have a fourth infrastructure slot. In the original game, you had four infrastructure slots. In most of these, you only have three. And these boards are a little shorter than the former headquarter boards this way, and a little longer and deeper this way because they have to have those extra rules. Very cool. There's a three to four Nova Capital, Stellar Security, Stellar Security, three to four player board. You don't get a Revelation Cube. It's one of their limits. Humanistics, three to four player. And then two to four player, we have the New Nomads. And lastly, GravTech, a two to four player board. And they have no infrastructure here. So you do start out with it. I guess they do get four because they start out with a core um, research that can't be upgraded. They just basically have research as their focus. Looks like all of them have that. All right, so there's the 14 boards from the point of view of multiplayer. Now, for the solo game, we go to the other side. And so now we have a head of the curve for a solo board. And we have Allied Transit for a solo board, and things are going to be slightly different. Polaris GCI. Discover Prime, Next Generation, it's completely played solo, Drill Institute, Solo, Inframax Solo, Humanistics Solo, New Nomad Solo, GravTech Solo. There's 10 of these boards, 10 of these corporations that can be used for solo play. So you can challenge yourself, you can win with all 10 of them, right? And then the other four boards, are devoted to four competition AI variants. And they have adjustments. So now you can play varying corporations. So DP Roberts, Space Corps, and it tells you which one they're recommended against. So if you're playing Discover Prime, Polaris, GCI, or New Nomads, this one's recommended against that. So if you want to even match up, then you, then you would put those together. Space Corps. He's recommended against ahead of the curve in GravTech. 
Nova Capital against Next Generation Drill Institute. So basically just pick your random AI, uh, your random uh, headquarter, and then pick the, pick the AI opponent that you need to go against. And Stellar Security goes against Allied Transit, Inframax, and Humanistics. Awesome. So that goes with the new rules. That's the meat of this, is the variable player power boards for both multiplayer and solo, and variable solo AI. Ooh. There's a challenge. Like I said, games, games, game is fun. All right, so now we get an extra contract marker that goes on the contract board, but there's no new contract board. So these must apply to certain, possibly certain factions, or I don't know, because there's seven, there's seven contract markers in the base game and seven contract slots. So the rules will tell us what to do with that. Now, here's the part I'm most concerned about. And that is, we have more cards. And it doesn't concern me as a player. We have new event card, or uh, new uh, game deck cards. There's three. We've got a salvage. We've got a salvage with a build four. And we've got a negotiations card. Okay. And those go into the game deck. And there is one for each era as well. Okay, so we got Mariners, Planeteers, and Starfarer's Era. One new card. And we got a new time card, so that brings you to nine time cards, which only take place, and this is only for solo in playing with ventures. Is that a possibility? Then we've got some more rule cards, and these aren't bad, and some notes about the different factions. So here's Gravtech and their rules, Humanistics, you know, man's all the different groups as their standard final profit and their alternate final profit calculations. So there's one of those for each of the corporations. Okay, gives them different goals. And then we've got what's called contract cards. These are new. Okay, and they've got each one is marked. One to four players use this, two to four players use this. So I guess you determine which side you're going to use or based on era. Ah, these are new contracts. Duh, that's what the new contract marker would be for. Yay! So we solve something, or we have a pretty good hypothesis. Anyway, so there's these contracts, right? And there's ones in the Planeteers era, and this is during the Starfarers era. So it's an additional contract that you can you can uh, take into account. I don't know how you choose between the two. Flip a coin or do something. So these these don't trouble me. What troubles me, and this is just a personal thing, the copy I got was used. And the copy I got was well maintained. The copy I got had great sleeves on all the cards. Unfortunately, they did not include extra sleeves. Unfortunately, they did not sleeve the unnecessary cards. So, <laughs> to sleeve these, I'm now going to have to try to figure out what sleeves they got. So that's just a first world problem, obviously, for me. But uh, it's like, oh man, I didn't sleeve it and I don't want to re-sleeve the whole game just to fix these four cards. So, I don't know. I'll figure that out. Uh, there's, probably a way I can, there's probably a way I can do some calculations on the thickness and so on and so forth and they'll be close enough. But uh, but uh, they don't match the good sleeves I have myself. So, anyway. Anyway, neither here nor there. So, if you pick up Space Core Ventures, which I, based on what I see, I recommend you do. You're going to get four new cards that go into the existing decks. You're going to get your new contract cards, you're going to get your corporation uh, alternate scoring and scoring cards. You're going to get one new contract marker, which I think we just figured out what we're going to use it for. You get 14 double-sided headquarter boards. One side of each is for multiplayer, and 10 of them have single-player uh, headquarters, and four um, AI headquarters. You're going to get a new solo competition sheet, reference sheet, the multiplayer rule book rule card, the solo rule book, and a wonderful box. And that's everything that comes inside of Space Core Ventures, an expansion for Space Core 2025, 2300 AD, John Butterfield, GMT Games. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!